Hello, Torters. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to can mac and cheese, retort style. Hello, Torters. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to can mac and cheese. I found this recipe at the Rebel Canning Group on Facebook. I need to give you the warning. This recipe has not been approved by the National Center for Home Food Preservation. It uses ingredients that are not approved for home canning. So do so at your own risk. Now the legal stuff is over, let's get back to the video. I wanted to introduce you to our new farm hand here, the JVR VAC 100 with Retort Bar. We'll be putting it through its paces today. We will be doing a full review of it, along with comparing it with our UV32 from Avid Armor. Look forward to it in a future video. Here's the recipe we'll be using today. It's pretty simple. Even though it's written for jar canning and not retort, it's not hard to convert. Let's gather our ingredients. One can of nacho cheese sauce. Any cheese sauce will work. Some macaroni dry pasta, uncooked. Some water. Some retort pouches. Now let's get to it. You need to empty the cheese sauce into in a large bowl and mix it with equal parts cheese sauce and water. Mix well. Measure out one and a third cups of cheese sauce and put it into a plastic cup. I use Red Solo. And I'm going to add two-thirds of a cup of macaroni noodles on top. Now I'm going to take the slide the retort pouch over the top of the cup. Fits just perfectly inside. Then I'm going to invert it and turn it over, dumping the contents of the cup into the retort pouch. I'm going to try to shake it a little bit and remove the uh, remove the solo cup. I'm going to look inside the, the retort pouch and, and and then take a small rag and make sure it's clean. Sometimes the cheese will drip, will still shake out, but I want the where I'm going to seal to be really good and clean. I take it, take this pouch, I put it inside the JVR. VAC 100. Great machine. With the retort bar attachment. I adjust it into the clips, hold it down flat. Then I take it and smooth it. So it's nice and smooth. I get a good connection between the bar and the, and the pouch. Close the, the lid on the, the JVR, which automatically starts the cycle. When the cycle is done, I remove the pouch and inspect the seal. I bend this pouch slightly so it'll fit in my canner. Once all the pouches are done that'll fit in my canner, I check the water level. I have my rack inside. Sometimes people call it a basket. Mine, it's a rack. Fill up the water so it's an inch and a half, an inch and a half up from the bottom of the pouch. So a total in mind would be about two inches of water. Some, all racks are different, but you want about an inch and a half up the side of the pouch. Now I set my canner to do the canning process. My settings for this are 15 minutes at medium pressure. I love the automatic canner where I can just push a button and walk away. 
when the canner beeps, the cycle is done, I want to make sure to go turn it off. My canner has a deep warm setting. I don't want that. I want it to come down naturally. I wait an hour to two hours, and then the pressure will come down naturally from my canner. I open it and inspect it. Wow, no blowouts. Amazing. Great, JVR. Good job. I take the pouches out and set them down on my table on the towel. I want them to be dry and I want to be cool before I start labeling. And everything is done. That is really good mac and cheese. Thank you. Have a nice day. Reminder, if you haven't um, subscribed to our channel, please do that now. We really thank you for all your support. You guys have been wonderful. Looking forward to seeing around the group. Retort Pouch is shelf-stable food preservation where we talk food preservation 24 hours a day.